Hi guys, my name's Elliot Timothy Harlan Bethel, and amongst other things, I am a storyteller, a master faster, and an energy worker. And today I wanted to talk about riding fear for what it actually is. And how I come across a really interesting perspective that Will Smith gave at some point, where he said, fear does not actually exist. It's actually just an accumulation of our thoughts and thoughts about the future which don't actually exist and may not ever exist. But he also went on to say, don't get him wrong, that danger is very real. Now, something I started to notice probably around four or five years ago was that when feeling in a depressed state, it's about worrying about things that have happened in the past previously to us. Like if we've fallen over or if we've gone to ask someone out on a date and they've blown us out. When we keep worrying about these things over and over again, we get depressed about it and then we don't do them again in the future because we're scared to do them again in the future. And that anxiety was actually worrying about something that hadn't happened in the future. So it was worrying about um, if this was gonna happen, if this was gonna happen, when actually it hadn't even happened yet. Which again is a form of insanity because the only moment that actually exists is the present moment. If we wanna receive the presents that are available to us, then we have to be in the present moment. Now, another thing that's very apparent to me after looking into and working with different forms of energy is that everything is energy vibrating at a level of frequency. And when we're in a frequency of fear, from what I've seen, and this is as I see things, so take what resonates and just let the rest pass like clouds in the sky. If, um, if you're not feeling it, then it's not necessarily for you to embody or to to give any of your energy to. So just let it pass, become a passerby with this. But if it does resonate, then by all means, put your energy towards it and focus on what I'm saying to you. But from what I see is that when we're kept in an energy or vibrational frequency of fear, our energy field, which some believe can be up to nine meters away from us, which is kind of like a, our vibrational field, we have seven main energy centers within the structure running up our body. We have 114 in total, and there's another five above us creating the 12 main energy centers for us to be connected to. And you can look into this yourself as well. I believe there's many more around us and that these energy fields are energy fields within energy fields, um, connecting us to our own version of like Google, or our own Wi-Fi. So this is how when we have synchronicities, they lead on to more synchronicities. Now when we ask a question, sometimes the answer just comes to us in our head. And a lot of people are getting this at a much, a much more faster speed every single day now. So the more I think of something, the quicker it seems to come to me. Yesterday, I hadn't seen someone for close to 25 years. I passed their house and then I saw them within less than 20 minutes. I thought of a friend of mine who I hadn't been to the gym with in over two years and within 10 minutes she messaged me and asked me which gym it was we went to. So these things are happening, coming online faster and faster. But if you're kept in a vibrational frequency of fear, that nine meters, which I believe can be bigger personally, this is just something I'd read and something I've come across. Um, if we're kept in a vibration of fear, that energy field can come down to three inches away from the body. So that protection or that field around you um, retracts and becomes closer and closer to you. Now, when we embody energies and vibrations and frequencies of unconditional love, um, of gratitude, and other high vibrational frequencies like this, that energy field expands and expands and expands. And I believe can go miles, let alone meters, let alone kilometers, it can go up, uh, up to as large as you can perceive it to be. Because um, nothing has been done until it's been done. Um, and when, if we, we're not gonna create anything new, if we just carry on going around in circles, listening to what people have already done, it's time to get more expansive and to start evolving again, and to just stop consuming the same old shit over and over again and start looking and thinking outside of the box because there's a great book written in 1916 called The Master Key System by Charles F. Hainall. 
And this was my first experience with how vibration works because three to four years ago when I first found this book, I found the first chapter on YouTube and I listened to it and I thought, this is one of the most amazing books I've ever listened to. And I really wanna find the next chapter of the book. I really wanna find the next video or I'd like to find a copy to buy. And I couldn't find a copy to buy anywhere. I couldn't find the next chapter. And I kind of thought maybe the book didn't even exist and maybe the first chapter was all there was. So I listened to the first chapter five times. I just kept on listening to it and listening to it and listening to it. And what happened was when I finished it for the fifth time, the second uh, episode of the chapter came up as a link to the first chapter. Now what I started to notice was that maybe my vibration wasn't in alignment for me to see or access the next chapter. So I listened to the next chapter and I couldn't find the third chapter. So I listened to the second chapter five times and bang, the next chapter came. Now this was confirmed to me later on when I listened to a copy of the Emerald Tablets where actually in the Emerald Tablets, it states that you probably need to listen to the Emerald Tablets a hundred times before you understand the true depth and meaning of the words or symbols that are in that book. Because your vib level of vibrational frequency might not be that um, able to access or to understand the true meaning behind it. Now, all the stuff I've studied over the years, whether it be chemicals, drugs, different thought patterns, energies, vibrations, frequencies, and all these things I've said are just energy at a level of vibrational frequency. But sometimes in order to get from A to Z, at first we have to go B, C, D, E, F, G, and all the way through the alphabet. But once we've done this a hundred times or a thousand times or whatever, we can go from A to Z, and then back from Z to A very quickly. But when we're learning things, first of all, we have to go right through that spectrum in order to get from A to Z. But once we've mastered these things, we can almost time travel from A to Z and then back from Z back to A again very, very quickly. But we have to learn and to understand and perceive these things from all the different angles and dimensions and to fully understand them for what they are before we can go from A to Z or 1 to 9 or 1 to 10 and then 10 to 1. So it's great to experience these four levels, even if they do scare us, because what I have found is that sometimes the things that scare us the most are the things that are holding us back. Now, I wrote down my three biggest fears in 2017, and the number one was public speaking. And I enrolled myself in a public speaking academy, and it was the scariest thing I've ever done. And there was moments on that journey where I almost decided to run away and not face that fear, but I did face it in the end. And the amount of shifts and unlockings that that gave to my energy and vibrational frequency created a shift where other things started to fall into back to place for me. Um, my next biggest fear was spiders. And after I faced this fear, it unlocked many different um, patterns and doors for me because what I found was that these fears were just like boxes that I put myself into and there are many people that believe that we're only born with two fears and that these fears are falling and loud noises. There are also some shamans with the perspective that if we're born early we can be scared of being out in the open on our own or being left to our own devices. And that if we're born late, we can be scared of finding our own way and um, not having someone there to protect us. These are all just perspectives. Uh, take what resonates again. But every other single fear that you have or may have is picked up from your environment. So it is learnt from either a mother or father or teacher. And this is what I find very very um, interesting is that one of the things I set out to do in 2017 was to unlearn everything that I'd ever learnt. Whether it be that I was right-handed and to start writing with my left hand only, 
which interestingly enough increases the corpus callosum that divides the two brain hemispheres and starts to merge those two. Um, and to also try everything else that I'd been taught, like sports. I'd always played snooker and played guitar left-handed and was right-handed in other things. So I started to do everything dual. Uh, I started to do everything with both hands, unifying those two things, which again, opened up more perspective and helped me to look at things from maybe a, a third uh, 3D perspective and then to feel things from a 4D perspective and a 5D perspective. And I'll probably do a video on these different dimensions and numbers at a later point. Please do comment below if you'd like me to do that. But overcoming fears is one of the biggest obstacles I believe the average person faces to get to that higher level of perspective and that higher level of understanding. Now Ian Brown wrote a song called Fear which can give you a different perspective on the word fear. And every single word in this song that he wrote begins F-E-A-R. And some of them are finding excellence affects reality. Um, forgetting everything and remembering. Now fear can be used in many, many different ways. It can be used, some people can perceive it as a negative thing. Some people can use it as a positive thing. Because when 300 people go to a cinema to watch a film, there's only one film they're watching in this cinema, but there's 300 seats in the cinema. So when those 300 people leave the cinema, although they've only watched one film, there's 300 versions of that film that have been perceived. Because every single person that watches that film is going to see it at their level or their depth of understanding, their level of vibrational frequency. So I've even walked out of films before with three or four people and I've come out with the perspective that, oh, this person's the savior and this person might be the bad guy. And other people have come out to me and said, oh, they perceived it the other way around. So it's very, very interesting that, and I find, it very, I find myself very conscious to say that whenever I put out one of these videos, this is just a perspective. It's a level of perspective that I perceived and am perceiving at a certain time is open to change the more I evolve but if it resonates with you then please do like share and subscribe it with other people because generally you'll only find these videos if you're at a level of vibration that there's something for you to hear or a nugget of information in there that's going to resonate otherwise these videos will not appear in your timeline just like the next chapter of the master key system didn't appear for myself so fear um, jump on it, ride it, um, overcome it and use it ultimately for your benefit, which is what it's here for. I believe fear is a tool for, we make mistakes and those mistakes become mistakes of a film and then you can retake those films. So, and the biggest, the biggest thing I learned from this as well is that when we react to something, it's us giving our energy away to it. So when we react, we have to react that situation until ultimately we've learnt that that was a mistake and now we retake it and don't react to it. So we don't have to react that whole episode again. We then transcend it and move on to the next thing. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's recorded at a different time of day for me. The sun's shining, it's a beautiful day out. I hope everybody has a lovely weekend and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do like, share and subscribe these. And if you're interested in coming on or finding out more information about any of the retreats I'm doing this year, where you can learn to reset your energy, possibly cellular memory from what I've been studying, um, utilizing things like fasting, sun gazing, grounding, earthing, sound healing, and many other ancient processes that are coming back to us, that people are being guided towards doing at the moment, then please do get in contact at mindbodysoulspiritcoach at gmail.com or just direct message me. And I'm gonna be creating a Telegram page soon, which if you'd like to join, let me know. Have a great day, lots of love, namaste.